Hello and welcome to Hawaii. Today we are doing a buys, tries, and back workout. So if you have your dumbbells, a kettlebell, one of your lightest orange bands, your mat, uh, and grab some water, start your tracker, and we're going to begin. All right, so we're starting with 40 alternating hammer curls. So pick up your dumbbells and we're ready to go. All right, remember if you like to have music on in the background, go ahead and put on your favorite music. Otherwise, you're gonna hear lots of chickens and chimes and peacocks. Good, squeeze those biceps. How's your day going today? We have nice blue skies, not too many clouds. Good, hammer curl, palms are in. halfway we have 20 more Good. keep going make sure you're using weights that are challenging for you we have 10 more for 10 9 8 keep going there's your chickens Four, three, two, one more. Good job, biceps should be burning. Now we're going into 20 single arm overhead tricep extension. So using a little bit lighter weight than you would use if you were using both hands. All right, so if you need to, you can take your arm around the back and hold on to your opposite elbow. And if you don't need to, that's okay. That's good too. So we're doing two sets of 10 on each arm. Keeping that elbow nice and close to your ear. We have 10 more for 10. We have five more on this side. Five, four, three. I'm using a 12 pound dumbbell in case you're wondering. One more. All right, nice job. Now, we were just working the back side of your arm, so triceps, that's where you're gonna feel that exercise. So switching arms up. And if you need to, again, you can hold on to that elbow. Two sets of 10. Good job, we have 10 more. 10. Push through it. Two, one more. Awesome job. Set it down. All right, next we're going into four sets of 10 jumping jacks, so 40 jacks. Good. There's 10. Come on. Halfway, 20 more. Last out of 10. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now, if you have your kettlebell handy, we have 20 kettlebell swing. Ten. 
10 more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, set it down. All right. Catch your breath. Remember, if you need any uh, extra time during this workout, you can go ahead and pause the video and then come back when you're ready. We're moving into basic bicep curl, two sets of 10. So instead of where we did hammer, where our palms were in, now palms are facing up for two sets of 10. Here we go. Fully extending those arms so they open all the way up and then curl. There's 10, we have 10 more. Ready? 10. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one more. Good job. All right, set those down. We're gonna come down to the mat, we're laying on your back and we're going into skull crusher. So again, triceps, and we have four sets of 10. So I'm using a heavier dumbbell, laying on our back, and we're going to bend at the elbow, down and up. So we have 40, please. That's it. We have 30 more. Good job. We're halfway. We have 20 to go. down. We're going to flip it over. Hands and toes. We have mountain climbers next for 50. Ready? Let's go. Good. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, come on up to standing. We're going to be using your kettlebell again, this time for figure eight. So taking your kettlebell, we're gonna pass it through your legs. Squat, up, squat, and up. Ready? All right, grab your kettlebell, and we have 20. Pass it through your legs. Thread the needle. Ten more for ten, nine, eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Set it down. Next, we're going to be using your Oren band, one of the lightest Oren bands, and this is for a reverse pec deck. 
or pull apart. So I like to place my hands inside like this and then you're pulling that band, stretching it open. We're going to be doing three sets of 10. You ready? Good. And pull it open, squeezing your shoulder blades together at the back. Good. And squeeze, squeeze. Good. I'll show you also from the back. We have two more sets of 10. all those birds chirping. Keep going. We can break here for a moment if you like. We still have 10 more. Good. All right, we ready? 10. Pull it open. Stretch it open. Good. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Five more. Five. Four. You're going to feel this all through the rear delt, upper back area. Two. One more. And good job. Set it down. All right. We are heading into burpees next. You can add a push up if you like. Uh, so we're going to go burpee and jump up. Making sure to add that little jump. Nice job. Keep going. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. If you need a drink at any time, Please go ahead and grab that drink. Whew, catch your breath. So next we're going into a kettlebell swing pass. So earlier we did the basic kettlebell swing. This time we're going to swing, pass to your opposite hand. Good. Switching hands. Out of breath a little bit, I hope. All right, our next exercise is bent over rear delt fly. So for this one, I'm going to use a lighter set of dumbbells. Feet are about hip width apart. We're just looking down at our feet. Okay, just look straight down. With light weights, we're going to bring them up and lower. We're going for 12. Up and lower. Again, trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Two more. One more. Good job. And go ahead and set those down. Oh, nice. Did you feel that one? kind of in here, all through your upper back. All right, next we have deadlifts with a row, and we have 12. So picking up your dumbbells, keeping your back nice and straight, keep your weights nice and close to your shins. Once you're here, we're gonna row and stand up for 12. Row and stand up, good. Row and up. Keep 
keeping your back straight. Good job. Feeling that pull through your hamstrings. We have two more. Row. Up. We have last one. Row. And up. Great job. Set those dumbbells down. All right, we're going to come down to the mat. We have 20 plank walkout or plank jack. If you're doing the plank walkout, you're in a high plank position from your hands and your toes. And you're gonna alternate stepping out, in, out, and in. Or you can take it to a plank jack. Here we go, 20. Good. In 10, nine, Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And we're coming back up to standing. Grab a drink if you like. We're going into suitcases or side bends. I'm gonna use my kettlebell for this. You can also use a dumbbell if you prefer, a weight plate. You can even use an Oren band. If you're using an orange band, you want to use a stronger one than this though, but you'll place it underneath your shoe and then you're bending down and up. I love using an orange band for this exercise. Just make sure it's one of the stronger ones. Okay, so I'm going to use a kettlebell. So feet are a little wider than hip width apart and we're bending down. And up. We have 10 on each side. Down and up. Good. Lower back, obliques. Good job. And we have four more on this side. Three. Last one. Excellent job. Please switch that kettlebell to your opposite hand. Feet are a little wider than hip width apart. And we're bending all the way down. Can you touch the floor? Good. And then bring it up and over for 10. Nine. Good. A little bit deeper. Feel that pull through your obliques. Make sure you're using a weight that's challenging for you as well. You can probably go a little bit heavier. Five. And four. Three. Two. One more. Beautiful job. All right, set that down. <laughs> All right, great job, everybody. Those are my daughters and Jay. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Please go back to the top and repeat this video two more times and then make sure to stretch. We'll see you back here next time.